everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited because I will be doing my first kidding up video. So I am kidding up this lovely lady, which is Luna Lovegood from Dreamer Designs and Curtis Reykjavik. Um, I'm doing this for a couple of June events, which I'll get into in a little bit. Just wanted to give you a little preview of what we're kidding up today. Done a little bit of work in the background here. I actually filmed a um, unboxing for this kit, but I, I didn't really like how it came out, so I decided not to post it, but I'm really excited to be kidding it up with you guys today. So, like I said, I did a little bit of work in the background, and um, I sorted out the diamonds to see what size containers I would need. Typically, I prefer not to use two sets of Elizabeth Ward containers, um, but this kit has 58 colors, and I'm starting to think I need to invest in one of those zipper cases that have the 60 bottles, um, and there was no way I could get the size and number of containers that I needed into one Elizabeth Ward. So. What I have here is two sets mixed together. So I have all the small, all the medium, um, the large and the extra large, just in two trays. And I'm going to kind of move things around as I need to. So let me make a little bit of room here so that I can have both at the ready so that I can just kind of pick the sizes that I need. Now this is my first kidding up video, so bear with me as I kind of remember to stay <laughs> in frame and stay where I need to be. Um, I think I'm gonna bring you guys down just a little bit. Hopefully that's not too shadowy. Hopefully that's a little bit better. All right, so I'm using Elizabeth Ward's. I cut my stickers already. Dreamer Designs comes with an inventory-ish sheet with everything in a sticker form. I have a tray just in case. I have um, washi tape. I have some questions for like a get to know me type of thing. I forgot dryer sheets so hopefully these aren't too staticky which is an issue I've had with um, Dreamer Designs in the past. Let me pull up a stool. I'm going to have a seat. I think I can see what I'm doing here. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm like, you know, close enough but far enough away. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. All right, let's do this. So the first thing I like to do is put washi tape on my containers, which are right above me here, so you'll see me reaching. Um, but because I wasn't really sure which containers and how many of each I was going to use, I decided to skip that step in my preparations. So we're going to do that now. I think I'm just going to do it as I'm putting things in bags. So I'm going to start with the biggest colors just so I can get them out of the way because they are taking up some room. So I am kidding up, um, Luna Lovegood, like I mentioned, from Dreamer Designs. Um, for a couple of June events. So I'm participating in, um, I almost said butterflies with diamonds. <laughs> no, I'm participating in um, Punked Out Diamonds, which is being hosted by Knox over on Instagram. Um, I believe it is their first event. Um, and I wasn't going to participate, not because like I didn't like the idea or anything, but I didn't think I had a proper kit. Well, turns out Luna Lovegood came out and she's perfect. Um, I'm also doing this kit for an event um, in Bella's DP Pens Facebook group. Um, one of her mods is hosting a community event over there for um, movies, like a character in movies or a theme of movies. Um, so I'm excited to kind of do two events at once. I also have a little garbage can over here, so 
which you guys can't see. But. All right, so first color in. Happy to report I didn't notice a lot of static. Hopefully that's a trend. So I have three extra bags to that I'm just going to put behind me. And I will grab um, one of those little zipper pouches later. Put them in. All right, next up is going to be 350, which is this beautiful color. Before I get too far into this video, um, I just wanted to mention quickly that today that I'm filming is um, Memorial Day. I come from a very heavy military family. Um, thankfully, um, in recent years, we haven't lost anybody in the military. Everybody's made it home safely. Um, but I just wanted to take a second and, you know, make note that today is Memorial Day and yes, I have a day off of work, which is nice, but, you know, not without sacrifice of other people do I have a day off of work. So, you know, I hope everybody's enjoying the day if you get it off from work or school, but I hope that you're also, if you're American, remembering why we have the day. Um, always been a very reflective day for me because I know that things could have turned out very differently for my family. My dad um, was in the army, he was a paratrooper, and he was also in the National Guard when he left um, the army. So, you know, not to be a Debbie Downer or anything, but I do like to... Um, remember the day for more than just a day off. Okay, moving on from that. My neighbors are outside. <laughs> um, my cats are taking a nap, so hopefully, you know, we won't have that to contend with. Although we do have a lot of dogs in our neighborhood, so you'll probably hear dogs barking. All right, so I have a few of these sets of two. I'm wondering if I should use a big, maybe I'll use a big one for 8.3. I hope I'm staying in frame. I can kind of see what I'm doing in the camera, but not like perfectly. So. Alright. So this is 8.23. I've also never like, like when I kid up, I will watch something on TV, but I've never like multitasked like this. So hopefully, oh, I'm setting the thing up. Um, We've had really crappy weather this weekend, so it certainly does not feel like Memorial Day here at all. Um, yesterday, Sunday, was like 48 degrees. <laughs> it was so weird. I think I am going to need to go grab some dryer sheets. So I'm going to do that really quickly, and I will be right back. All right, I am back with some dryer sheets. <laughs> I actually just finished a Dream of Designs, and I had said to myself, don't forget to cut up dryer sheets because they're probably gonna be staticky, and then I forgot. So, I don't know if you guys can see the static in there. Stick into the walls, and these bigger ones, I'm gonna put a second one. I'm glad I'm putting this up today, because I will be starting tomorrow. Harder to get some dryer sheets down in this one, so I'm just gonna. Sorry, I'm doing it off frame. It's totally different. <laughs> so, and then I'm just gonna shake this up. Get those down in there. So, um, yes, I'm starting this tomorrow, June 1st, which is when both events start. Um, so that'll give these diamonds a day to kind of chill out in here. Um, thinking that, okay, I'm just trying to decide where I want to put, where I want to put things. All right. Um, and I'm going to preemptively put a dryer sheet in every container because like I said, I just finished a dream of designs and I definitely needed the dryer sheets for I also realize I've watched back some of my videos that I've 
posted. And I like, um, what's the word? Like, I drag my sentences out, but I say them really quietly. So I'm really sorry if that's annoying. It's something that I guess I never really noticed that I've done before until I started watching myself back on film. And then I'm like, oh, <laughs> how do these people hear what I'm saying? So I apologize. Um, I'm also an infamous mumbler, so sorry about that. Okay. Um, I think maybe this one needs a, a bit of um. Sorry, I just got a text message. I told my boyfriend that I was going to be filming, <laughs> and he was like, okay, and now he just texted me. He also said to tell everybody that he said hello. <laughs> He's very funny. He's been um, very supportive about doing this. It's something that I've talked about for a long time. So when I finally just was like, yeah, I put a video up. He was like, you what? I was like, yeah, I, I put a video up. So he's been really supportive. It's really hard to find um, a place to film, which I've mentioned we're in the process of redoing our guest room, which is just about done. We kind of just need to start moving stuff back in. Um, so like right now I'm filming on a kitchen island and he's not here. Um, he's actually not here for the weekend. He's up north with his, with his parents. They have a, um, cabin type of, it's more of like another house, but, um, Saturday was his dad's birthday. So he went there and I was here for my best friend's birthday. Her fiance had a surprise party for her, so I was tasked with getting her out of the house. So, um, he's been up there, and I've been here, which is fine. It's kind of nice to have that time, um, you know. We've been together for four years now, um, and I always had an apartment and he lived with his parents. He stayed with me a couple of nights a week. Um, and then when we were in the process of purchasing our house, we um, moved in with his parents for a few months. So like we have lived together before, but now it's like you're always together, which I love, I do. Um, I really love being with him, obviously. Um, but it's nice to have your alone time sometimes. So we're doing that. We're, uh, yeah, we're enjoying it. But he's up north. Um, this time of year, we spend most of our weekends up there. So, all right. Um, but yes, he's been very supportive. He wants to make a cameo. <laughs> he wants to appear. Um, which is fun. It's nice to have the support of something that's so out of your element, so out of your realm of comfort. Um, it's really nice to have the support. I don't let him watch the videos though. <laughs> so, but yes, I've been making do with um, videos here at the kitchen, in the kitchen. Um, but it'll be nice to have my desk back in our spare room so that I can, you know, record when he's home and feel a little more comfortable with that barrier of the door. Which, I mean, this probably sounds ridiculous to some of you. I know that some of you film, you know, with your significant others in the room. I'm just, I'm not there yet. Um, alright, so, what do we got here? I have a lot of bags for the really small containers, so I'm trying to save the smaller side for those ones. So. Um, okay, so that needs to go there. There we go. So I did pull up a couple of like questions on, I just Googled some you know, like, get to know me questions. I don't wanna get too like personal but I do want you guys to feel like you have an idea of who you're watching. And if you are watching, thank you so much. Um, I hit 
22 subscribers, I think, and I was like party, party dancing. I was very excited. Um, it's just kind of crazy, like when you start doing something like this that is so out of your element that you are like, oh my gosh, 22 people are subscribed to my channel and watching me do this right now. You know, and I'm sure that to some people that seems so small, but if I have 22 people that just watch me forever, it's still kind of crazy, you know? Um, oop, there's a black drill in there. Garbage for you. So, yes, those of you that are here, thank you so much. It's it's really cool. It's still very nerve-wracking. Um, every time I upload a video, I, I panic a little bit. <laughs> but just roll with it. You know, it's it is exciting and I'm I'm proud of myself. I'm you know, I'm very proud of myself that I've that I took the leap and just was like, you know what? I have this thing that I love to do. I have these people that I love to watch. And I think I would like to do that too. Um, I don't know any, actually that's a lie. I do know one person in my life that diamond paints. Um, one of my boyfriend's mother, um, one of her friends is a diamond painter. Um, so that's kind of cool, but I don't know anybody, you know, like I know her, but she's not like my friend. So I don't know anyone that diamond paints in my close immediate circle. Um, so I feel like the people that I watch on YouTube are, you know, like my friends that diamond paint and I want to hang out with you guys and yeah. So I just, I did it. I went for it. I started posting a couple of videos over on Instagram and then I realized that there were like longer videos that I wanted to post that maybe people didn't enjoy or want to see over on Instagram. Um, so I decided to, oops, I forgot to put the dryer sheet. I just, I took the leap, I did it, and it's fun. Now I'm like, oh, I gotta film that. <laughs> I, you know, I get a package in and I wanna rip it open, and I'm like, oh, I can't. <laughs> Our first AB that we're putting up is this beautiful yellow. It's AB37 from Dreamer Designs. Um, so yes, I have some hopefully exciting videos coming this week. Um, I do work full time, so sometimes it's hard to um, find time to film the videos when I come home. It's the end of the school year, so there's just a lot of stuff going on, but um, I have a very exciting package coming in from Bella's BP Pens, who is one of the events that I'm doing this painting for, um, which I guess I'll talk about that, and then I'll, um, I'll get into some of the tag questions. So, Bella's BP Pens, I've been in her group since right around Christmas of last year, um, so Christmas 2020. I found her group and I won a pen, um, like won the chance to purchase a pen. And um, we have another AP here, white. Um, I fell in love with her pens and I fell in love with her styles because I had had diamond painting pens, I had purchased diamond painting pens, but I really liked the uniqueness of her style. Um, so I have a few pens from her. That was actually, I think that was my first video that I put up on Instagram was, um, oh gosh, I need to stop saying, um, so sorry. <laughs> These long videos really like make you see your error, the error in your ways. So, I, but I believe an unboxing of her pens was one of the first videos I put up over on Instagram. And I kind of went crazy and I purchased a bunch a bunch of pens from her. So I have a few right now, but this week I have a box coming with pens from December of last year until like last month. So I'm going to preface that by saying 
Bella had gone through a bunch of family issues with her mom and with herself, health issues. And I just kept saying, please hold my pens. Like, don't worry about my pens. She was getting a lot of flack from other people who wanted their pens. And I was like, listen, I have enough pens. Please hold and do them when you can. Please do not feel like you need to freak out about this order because I purchased a lot in a little bit of time, which I'm like that with, with shops. Let me know down below if you're like this. I find a shop, I love everything, and I purchase way too many of a thing. So I purchased a lot of pens in a very short amount of time from her. Thank you, Klarna. <laughs> they are a website that you can break your purchase up into four payments, and I love using them for bigger purchases um, over on Etsy. Kind of like Zezzle on Diamond Art Cult's website, if you're familiar. Um, after a while, I was like, okay, I need to stop, right? Like, I have so many pens, which I am eventually going to film um, what's in my pen stash or whatever it, the tag was. I'm very late for the tag, but I'm still going to film the pens that I have because I love pens so much. Not only diamond painting pens, like writing pens, <laughs> but I have quite a few diamond painting pens. I actually just cleaned through my stash yesterday, and I had pens that I would never even used. Um, I'm putting aside for a giveaway um, over on my Instagram. So, down below is my handle. Please follow me. Um, I'm pretty close to a thousand followers. I mean, not close, because I do have, like... 80 followers to go or something, but I'm planning a pretty big thousand follower giveaway. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, please do. Um, so anyway, all of those pens are coming, I believe tomorrow, Tuesday, when the mail resumes. Um, so that video will be coming to my channel. I also have two Craftably videos. They ran a sale a couple of weeks back and I got one of my unicorn diamond paintings <laughs> from them um, that was like $30 off. So one or maybe both of those videos will be coming to my channel this week. Um, what else? I think... Do I have something else filmed? Oh, I have a post review filmed for Confetti the Cat, which I just finished from Junior Designs. So that will probably be posted this week. I'm trying to post. I, I don't know that I'll be a post every day kind of girl. I have been this week because I'm trying to get content so that people are able to find my channel. And when they do find it, they have a few things to watch. Um, I definitely, I think now that I've found some time to film a kidding up video, which kidding up is one of my favorite things to do in diamond painting, um, I would like to tackle a whip and chat soon. So be on the lookout for that. Maybe for this time in painting, I'll try to do a whip and chat. Um, Sorry, I was just trying to see what containers I needed to be using. What else? What else? I think that's it. Do I have anything else coming this week? Ooh, I did order some of the new Pretty Placer wax. I'm so excited for that. I love Pretty Placers, specifically for my AB drills. Um, they're one of my favorite little diamond painting things, accessories. I have a few. Um, so I'm excited for that to come in. What else do I have coming? I think I'm going to film like a wax haul video. I do have some other waxes coming in different places. So when they all come in, I think I'll film that. Um, yeah, if there's anything that you would like to see on my channel, please let me know down below. I have some ideas of things. Like I said, I want to film a pen stash, I think is what the, what the video that went around was called. I do want to film that. Um, and 
I don't know, maybe I'll do like a cover reminder collection. I don't know that I want to film a diamond painting stash. I, I've seen people get a lot of flack for filming their stashes and I do have a lot of diamond paintings. I just, uh, I don't know that I can put myself out there like that. It's, I keep forgetting to put the dryer sheet in. So I'm sorry that I keep like reaching to put it away and then reaching to bring it back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Would you guys want to see a diamond painting stash video? I have mostly diamond art clubs. Um, I have craftably, I have some junior designs. I do have some like AliExpress kits, which I would need to do a little research on. Um, like I have some AliExpress and Amazon kits from when I first started diamond painting. I think like many of us that that's where we went. Um, so I do have some, I don't know. I'm on the fence. I just, I don't know if that's the video for me. So let me know if it's something that you're interested in. And maybe I'll reconsider. <laughs> uh, let's see. I feel like I should have used some of this size container for some of those, but that's okay. Should I just finish out using the bigger size? Or should I switch? All right, I'm going to switch to the smaller size. I'm just going to stack these. I am using the Elizabeth Ward containers. I'm not sure I mentioned that when we first started the video. Um, they are my preference for drill storage, but I am thinking about getting one of those zipper cases that have the 50, no, 60 vials, because that would have been perfect for this kit. Um... Why isn't that sticky? I'm gonna grab some regular tape. So I'm not sure why that's not sticky. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of tape, put it over. Problem solved. Okay. Is there anything else that I wanted to talk about or ask you before I started answering the questions? I don't think so. So let me... Okay. So some of these questions, I got this from a website. I'll leave it down below um, if you're interested. It's just called New YouTuber Tag Questions List. Um, some of them are very interesting. So, let's dive in. It looks like some of them are like technical questions. Um, so, let's just see what happens. So the first question is, what is your name? <laughs> So, which I realized I don't say in the beginning of my videos, but my channel is Diamond Paintings by Laura. My name is Laura. Um, sorry that I don't mention that. I guess I, I should. I don't know. Ooh. Questions. I don't know. Um, so my name is Laura. Yes. Diamond Paintings by Laura. I am from... The next question is where are you from? I'm from New York State. Well, I live in New York State. I'm actually from Virginia. I was born in Virginia. Um... But my family is from New York, so we came up here after my dad left the army. I wish we were still in, in Virginia. <laughs> How tall are you? <laughs> Some of these are really funny. How tall are you? I am 4'11". I'm very short. And I work with middle school students, and most of them are taller than me. It's like a running joke when I walk down the hallway with my kids. Um that I look like I'm a part of the line. <laughs> so. How old are you? Oof, I'm 30. I'm 30 years old. I just turned 30 last year, which was stinky in the middle of the pandemic to turn 30. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. 
my family had a nice little get together. It was um, kind of when things were starting to open back up here slowly, like restaurants were open. Um, my dad and his fiance, my sister, my brother-in-law and their two kids, my boyfriend, my best friend and her family, we went out to Hibachi for my birthday, which is fine by me. I do not like surprises. That's not my thing. So I was very happy with that. How many siblings do you have? I have um, a sister. I have an older sister. What are your hobbies? My hobbies are diamond painting. Um, I also like to play video games. I'm a big Sims, Sims gal. Um, Stardew Valley. Animal Crossing, of course. <laughs> Um, what else? I like to read. I haven't been reading as much as I would like to lately. But that's fine. I'm kind of one, I'm somebody that like, I go in and out of reading. I love it. And when I find a book that I love, I will stay up all night watching it. Watching it? <laughs> I'll stay up all night reading it. But it's been longer than I'd care to admit since I've read a book. I need to I need to work on that for sure. Um I guess that would be it. I also I just love spending time with my family. I have two nieces who are my favorite people in the world. So yeah. Is this your first channel? Yes. What is your channel about? Diamond painting? <laughs> I my logo says Italian paintings and more because I would eventually like to um, do some other things on my channel. I really love working with vinyl. Um, I'm just, I like to consider myself a, a crafty person. So I definitely hope to add to that diamond paintings and more thing in the future, but for right now, while I get the channel up and running, I'm focusing on diamond painting. Next question. Um, oh. What inspired you to start making videos? I'm skipping some questions because I thought this would be more of like a get to know me, not a get to know my YouTube channel, but we're we'll roll, we'll roll with it. What inspired you to start making videos? I just, the community in itself. Um, every community, crafting community, video gaming community, booktube, everybody has like bad eggs, right? So people that join the community for the wrong reasons, whether it be to drag people or whatever it may be. But I found the crafting community, specifically the diamond painting community, to, to have a little less of that. I know there are still trolls. I'm sure there will be people that find my channel that don't like what I do. They don't like what I say. That's okay. Um, but I was inspired to join this community and to start my YouTube channel to be a member of this community. Um, these people are amazing. And I've had some really great conversations on Instagram with members of the community. Um, so yeah, that's what inspired me. What's next? Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? So I will stick to diamond painting YouTubers because I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, I started watching like the beauty videos when I was younger. I don't really watch many of them anymore. That's a community with a lot of toxicity that I'm just not interested in. Um, but I watch a lot of like Sims YouTubers and um, that kind of stuff. But I will stick to diamond painting. So, some of my favorites are, uh, and I feel like if I don't mention you, I have like a crappy brain. So, chances are I watch your channel. Um, I also have an issue because I have a personal YouTube channel that I've been subscribed to so many people for for so long. And then I started this YouTube channel and I... I know there are people that I haven't subscribed to on this channel because 
I watch my other channel for non diamond painting content and I watch this channel for diamond painting content, but sometimes I forget, for, I forget to switch usernames and it's, it's a whole thing. Anyway, some of my favorites that I watch are Diamonds and Washi, and I'll leave all of these people linked below. Chances are you already know who they are, but I will, <laughs> I'll link them anyway. Um, Diamonds and Washi, Life with Lindsay, Stitcherista, I don't miss any of their videos. Um, I obviously watch Rachel Ray and Mrs. Coffee. They have Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Um, they have very large followings as the Stitcherista, so they don't really <laughs> need the shout out, but I'll give it anyway. Um, who else? Some of the newer YouTubes that I just started watching are Emeralds and Fairy Lights, I think. I hope I'm getting that right. Um, also, Alicia Borealis. I think, which I love that play on, play on words like AB. Uh, it's so funny. I love that. I wish I was creative. Mine's just diamond paintings by Laura. <laughs> Who else? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking somebody, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss people and I'm going to feel awful when I'm editing this back and I'm like, oh, I forgot to mention that person. Anybody that I forgot to mention, I'll leave linked down below. I think that'll be the easiest way because now I feel like I'm on the spot and I'm freaking out. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll leave it at that and then I'll leave some links to other people down below. Uh, how much time do you spend on YouTube every day? A lot because I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, a lot of YouTube. I feel like I watch YouTube more than I watch regular television. That's how much I watch it. Uh, do you watch your favorite programs regularly on YouTube? No, I don't know. I don't think so. Like TV programs, is that what it means? No, I don't, I watch them on Hulu. <laughs> What's next? What does your username mean? I, my username is pretty straightforward. My name is Laura, I'm sharing diamond paintings done by me. <laughs> That's what my username means. Next. What are your goals when it comes to YouTube? I just want to create like a really positive channel. I'm not in this for like financial reasons. I didn't start a channel to eventually make money. I have a full-time job. Um, so I don't, it's not about the money for me. It's about the community in itself and meeting people and having a common interest with the people that find my channel. That's, yeah, that's why. Those are my goals. A fun, positive, exciting, happy, welcoming corner of the internet. What's next? Um, does your family or and or friends support you in making videos? So the only person that knows I make videos in my real life is my boyfriend because I can't hide it since we live together. <laughs> so he knows, and like I mentioned before, he's very supportive of it. Any advice for new YouTubers? I'm a new YouTuber, so <laughs> I guess what I've learned since I started filming and uploading is just, just do what you want, do what you like. Um, I don't, I try not to worry about viewers, like I said, it, that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing it for fun. I'm doing it to share what I love and to find people that enjoy the same things that I do. So for me, it's not about how many viewers I have. Um, so I would say, don't worry about your viewers. Upload what you want to upload. I still get very nervous when I'm filming, when I'm uploading. Um, but if it's something that you really want to do, just just do it and. Eventually, you'll get a little more comfortable. Okay, so that was that question thing. I thought it would be more like, not like less YouTuber questions. So I found another one. This one has 200 different types of questions. So I'm just gonna go through and pick some things and, you know. First one is about hobbies, which I will pass because we already talked about that. 
See, some of these are just fun. Like, do you like cold drinks or hot beverages? <laughs> I prefer cold drinks. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink hot tea. Um, I am all about cold drinks. What's your favorite TV show or web series? Oh, gosh. I have many. I could probably do this whole video just talking about my favorite TV shows. So, let's do it. <laughs> favorite TV shows? Friends, Golden Girls, The Nanny. Obviously, those are all older TV shows that I can watch and have watched over and over and over and over again. Current television, Grey's Anatomy, I love. Um, I also love This Is Us. New Amsterdam. Gilmore Girls. Oh. I know that's an older show. I should have lumped that with the first three. Gilmore Girls, such a good show. But I was thinking about This Is Us and Milo Ventimiglia. No, I said it wrong. Ventimiglia and that just brought back the Golden Girl feels. No, oh my gosh, I'm messing this up. Rewind and say it again. <laughs> I was thinking about This Is Us and Milo Ventimiglia popped in my head. And that's what prompted Gilmore Girls to pop into my head. So, yes, Gilmore Girls, one of my favorite shows. Back to current TV series. The Resident, also a former Gilmore Girls character. Um, Matt Zucri, probably not saying that right either. He plays the main character, and he looks chef's kiss. So good. <laughs> Is that it? Um... I used to watch like all the Chicago shows, like Chicago Mad, Chicago. I haven't watched them in a while. Oh my gosh, ER. How can I forget ER? I watched that when I was younger and I was probably way too young to be watching ER. But I watched it like during the summer, it would be on every day on like TBS or something. No, TNT, it was on TNT for hours. So I would watch, I remember watching Charmed, which is another favorite show. And ER, like back to back to back to back. I rewatched ER at the start of the pandemic. Oh my gosh. Such an amazing show. It's on Hulu if you've never seen it. Highly recommend. Did I get all of my current TV shows? I know I'm kind of going back and forth now. You're getting an idea of how my brain works. <laughs> I think I got everything. Oh, A Million Little Things. I didn't mention A Million Little Things. Another great show. I think that's it. Um, do you prefer soft drinks or alcoholic drinks? <laughs> I don't, I don't really drink alcohol. Um, I can if I want to, but I prefer not to. What is the food you could eat anytime? Ooh. What is the food I could eat anytime? Mmm, tacos or shrimp? Maybe shrimp. Yeah, probably shrimp. I love shrimp. Sorry to all the vegetarians and vegans out there. I apologize. Okay. Which season do you enjoy most? Why so? So my favorite season is autumn, like most people, I would say. But I really enjoy now that I'm with Steven. I don't know that I've ever mentioned my boyfriend's first name. His name is Steven. So if you hear me talk about Steven, that's who I'm talking about. Um, Steven's family, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, they have a camp um, on the water. Um, it's on the river, but it's a short boat ride on the river to the lake. Um, so I would say that I, I prefer, I don't prefer, but I enjoy summer a little bit more now than I did. Um, however, I get very severe motion sickness, so, you know, the boat is fun for me. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Probably a morning person. I don't stay up very late. I'm an early to bed kind of gal. Um, so yeah, I would say probably a morning person. When I was younger, oh boy, these are very static -y. When I was younger, I was always the first one up in my house. My parents would come down and I would be sitting in the living room with a bowl of cereal watching cartoons. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Favorite, what was your favorite subject in high school? Oh gosh. Um, history, definitely history. US history, world history, love history. Scroll this down a little bit. Are you more of an extrovert or an introvert? Or do you fit the definition of an ambivert? I am an introvert through and through. Um, darn it. Yes, I am an introvert. I wish I was an extro extrovert, but I'm not. Um, I'm a assuming that an, what was it? Am ambivert is a mixture of both. I am not a mixture of both. <laughs> I am definitely just an introvert. What's your favorite music or song? Oh gosh, I love all music. I am one of those people that I will listen to anything except like super, super heavy metal. It gives me a headache. But I, my favorite <laughs> singer is a country singer. Um, his name is Kit Moore. If you've never listened to him, I highly recommend. I've met him. I've seen him like four times in concert, maybe three times. Um, was it three times? Anyway, not important. He's my favorite current singer. Um, yeah, but I love like boy bands. <laughs> I still listen to NSYNC. I still listen to One Direction. Um, I'm your stereotypical 90s kid. Um, well, I was born in the 90s, but I grew up like really grew up in the 2000s. So like all that early 2000s music, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, those are all my vibes. Um, but I would say I'm a pretty good mixture with music. I love listening to lots of different things. How do you like to spend your weekends and holidays? So my weekends, I like to just relax. Um, now that it's almost summer, I will be spending more of them at the lake. Um, I don't go every weekend. My boyfriend, for the most part, he will go every weekend without fault. But I, you know, I like to see my nieces. I like to have sleepovers with them. Um, so I don't necessarily go every weekend. But that is probably where I will be most of the time this summer. The season ends up being so short. Like right now, I mentioned before, it's cold here. So it's Memorial Day weekend, but nobody's out on their boats or anything. So when the season starts so late, it's very short. So, um, And in the winter, we snowmobile, so that's where I am most of the time. But when I'm home, I like to just keep it low-key. I like to get the cleaning done first thing Saturday morning, get the laundry done, and then I like to catch up on TV shows and time to paint and cuddle with my cats and all that fun stuff. What is your favorite cuisine? Do you know how to cook this food? <laughs> so my favorite cuisine, I think it's probably a tie between Italian and Mexican. As far as do I know how to cook the food, like I know how to cook the American, Americanized version of those foods. Um, but yeah. My favorite cuisine. <laughs> Are you more into books or video games? I would say that's a draw for me. I love both. Um, I go through phases. I like to read in the summer because I like to sit outside. Um, like up at camp, we have a like a dock, obviously, because there's a boat, and there's some chairs, and I like to go sit down there um, in the evening and read with you know, the boats going by down the river and it's breezy and so I love that. But also I love my video games. I, it's been a while since I've played The Sims um, because you have to be sitting at your computer to do that. But with like Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, um, I can take my Switch up to camp with me. So I like both. What is your most comfy sleeping position? I don't know. <laughs> That's a funny question. I like to sleep on my back or my right side. There you go. Now you know. 
riveting information, I know. Uh, who is your favorite celebrity? What makes you admire him or her? Okay, so I feel like this is a deep question for me personally. I know I could say like, oh, my favorite celebrity is Leonardo DiCaprio, which I do love me some Leonardo DiCaprio. My favorite, I'm gonna say celebrity, um, cause it, it's, I guess he would be considered a celebrity, but my favorite famous person is um, John F. Kennedy. I am a Kennedy buff, an aficionado, if you will. And I don't say that about myself very often. I'm not like, oh, I'm so good at that. Or, oh, I know so much about that. I do know a lot about JFK though. <laughs> when I was in middle school, this is gonna be a little bit of a long story, which is fine, because we have a lot of we have a lot of colors to, to work on still. Uh, when I was in middle school, I took a like integrated, kind of a more advanced um, class that connected history and English together. So we were assigned to pick somebody to do a paper on, and I chose um, JFK. I'm gonna cut some more dry sheets. So I think I was in seventh grade when I wrote this paper, and ever since then, it's just something that I've I've done that I've. I love reading about it, I love watching things about it. Well, I love watching accurate things, not crazy tales. Um, we vacation in Hyannisport in Cape Cod every son summer, which is where the Kennedy family compound is. And I love going to the Hyannis Museum. Um, I have a tattoo on my arm of a, I'm not gonna be able to show you, but maybe I'll take a picture and insert it. Um, a JFK quote and his signature. It's, yeah. And I hope that people don't like give me flack for this because I feel like you're allowed to idolize whoever you wanna idolize. And for me, it's JFK. I, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that, I think. I don't want to get too like preachy about it, but that is my favorite famous person. And I look up to him because he really persevered in his life to get to where he, he ended up, um, aside from being assassinated. But, you know, he was never meant to be the Kennedy member that became president. Um, his father had always envisioned JFK's older brother who passed in, was killed in the war. Um, and when he died, then it suddenly became JFK that was the one that would see the White House. And he did, and he had a lot of health issues. And yeah, so that's why I look up to him. He persevered in his life and he showed um, that no matter your situation, obviously he was fortunate in the finance department, you know, he came from a wealthy family, but he lacked other things and he persevered and became what he became. So I'll leave it at that because I don't want to upset people with something like that. Which book or movie is your favorite? How do you feel reading or watching it? So I feel like I have a pretty cliche answer. My favorite book series is Harry Potter. I have so many other books that I've read that I love love, 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 but Harry Potter is something I can read and rewatch so many times. I, but when I watch the movies, <laughs> I have to watch them in order. I can't just pick one and watch it. I have to start with the Chamber of Secrets and no, sorry. I have to start with the Sorcerer's Stone, right? Is that the first one? Wow. I'm like, yeah, I love Harry Potter, and I can't remember the order of the books. <laughs> or it would be the Philosopher's Stone if you're in the UK. Um, I haven't mentioned my cats yet, because, which, if you know me, is a shocker. But I have 
two cats, both named after Harry Potter characters. So, and my sister and I have matching Harry Potter tattoos. So, Harry Potter is my favorite book and movies, probably. Uh, maybe not movies. I have a lot of other movies that I love. And how do you feel reading it? It just takes me back to my youth. It takes me back to like some of the better times in my life where I felt safe and, um, you know, I was never a big reader. I turned into one as I got older, but the Harry Potter books came out. I was certainly reading those. Okay. Is there something that you can't live without? Oh, something I can't live without. Like, aside from family and my cats, I feel like that's just a given. Something I can't live without. No, I guess it would just be my family and my cats. I mean, obviously, I love diamond painting, but if the question was, you can have your cats or your diamond paintings, it would be my cats. <laughs> my cats, my boyfriend, and my family. Which, I lump my boyfriend in as my family. I didn't just leave him out when I started talking about it. <laughs> what is your favorite color? So my favorite color is gray, which my lovely nieces like to remind me isn't a color. Um, when my oldest niece, Natalie, was younger, I remember her asking me what my favorite color was and I told her and she was like, that's not a color. They call me TT and she was like, TT, that's not a color. <laughs> so when they're around, my favorite color is yellow, which I do love yellow, but gray is actually my favorite color. The reason I have a gray cat, Neville is gray. What is your favorite outfit? Is it because of comfort or looks? Oh, well, obviously comfort. Like, let's be real. Obviously I had to dress up for work, but when I'm home, normally I come home and I take a shower and I get into pajamas or, which is like leggings and a t-shirt or in the winter leggings and a sweatshirt. I'm definitely a comfort kind of gal. I do dress up for work. I wear dresses and yada yada, but Definitely comfort for me all the way when I'm home. Leggings, t-shirt, sweatshirt. Um, I have to scroll. Give me one second, let me finish this color. We're almost done. I hope that this is okay. I hope long videos are okay with you guys. Um, I just really wanted to do a kidding up video. It's one of my favorite things to work on. Yesterday I kitted up um, a Diamond Art Club to take up to camp and leave there for the weekends. I like to leave a smaller diamond painting up there. It's not one that I'll get done very quickly, but it's one that I'll have if it's rainy or whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm just scrolling to see. Okay, if you were an ice cream, which one would you be? Why this? Chocolate chip cookie dough all the way. Actually, you know, yeah, I'm going to say chocolate chip cookie dough, but I'm going to give a shout out to Stargazer ice cream. I don't know if this is a thing around the country, but here in New York, we have a place called Stewart's, which is a gas station slash, I guess you could consider it like a convenience store. And they make their own ice cream here in New York State. And they have an ice cream called Stargazer. It is like Milky Way ice cream. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is, it's even better than cookie dough, if you can believe it. <laughs> so, but I'm going to say cookie dough because I don't think everybody has Stargazer readily available to them. Next question. Um, what fic which fictional character would you like to be? Ooh, that's a fun question. I don't even know. Ooh, an AB. Light purple. Fictional character. Hmm. That's a really tough question. Can I say Luna? Can I say Luna Lovegood? I'm so not Luna, but I love her. And I don't think I, I definitely wouldn't be a Hermione. So, is it weird of me to just say Luna? I think that's who it would be. Luna Lovegood, quirky. Although I prefer not to be kidnapped by, you know, Death Eaters. 
How would you rate your sense of humor? I would say once you get to know me, I'm pretty funny, but I'm not like funny funny. I'm like sarcastic funny. I feel like I have a pretty dry sense of humor when it comes down to it. Um, if you were a food, would it be spicy or sweet? Ooh. Another AB. If I was a food, would I be spicy or sweet? I don't know. See, some of these questions I wish Steven was here for, even though I wouldn't film in front of him. <laughs> I feel like he would be able to answer that question better than me. I guess I would be... I guess I would be sweet. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm spicy. <laughs> In private, like when Steven's here, we like rag on each other all the time. But I think, I think I would be sweet. Maybe I would be like sweet and salty. Maybe that's more of me. Like a chocolate covered pretzel. Sweet but salty. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Next. What is the funniest thing you saw recently? Okay. I'm going to tell you a story. It's, I guess it's not something I saw, but it's something that a student said and I was cracking up. So I do an after school tutoring program with two other teachers and two of, like we alternate. So we each work two days out of the week. It runs three days, we each work two. So <laughs> we have two in-person days and one virtual day. So one of the students came up and asked for help about an English assignment and it was write about Little Women or The Giver, which are both books if you're unfamiliar. And the student said, I don't know how I'm supposed to write about this. What do I write about Little Women? And myself and the other teacher were like, well, have you read Little Women? No, we didn't even say that. Backtrack, backtrack. We were like, well, what do you know about Little Women? And he was like, I don't know. He's like, how am I supposed to write about little women? And he got really upset about it. And we were both just like, it's fine. Like, we'll help you. Can you scroll back? And do they give you, you know, like an online resource for little women? And he's like, I don't get it. And we're just like, it's okay. We're going to help you. He's like, I don't know any little women. <laughs> I'm just, like, I can just see his face and I'm still cracking up. He's like, how do I set up an interview with little women? And the other teacher and I looked at each other and we're like, the student's name is Jacob. We're like, Jacob, you know, little women is a book, right? And he's like, what? I lost it. I couldn't even, I couldn't even finish talking. So the other teacher was like, they're asking you to talk about little women, the book. Oh my gosh, I still, I, st we're never going to let him look it down, ever, 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 ever. So this student thought that the, the English question was asking him to speak to little women, women that are small. So funny. Look, I'm all frazzled. I just spilt these drills. <laughs> it was hilarious. I don't know if anybody else will find that story funny, but maybe if you're in the education field, you will. Oh my gosh, so funny. So yes, that is the funniest thing that I've, I've dealt with lately. Okay. Uh, are you innocent or mischievous? I think I'm mischievous. Uh, have you ever been... Da, 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 da. No, no, no. Ew, no. If you got it, if you get a chance to leave someone else's life, who would it be? I don't know. Maybe Kate Middleton. <laughs> I don't know. I find royal families fascinating. I mentioned that when I unboxed um, the People's Princess, which was one of my last videos. I just I love royalty. So maybe I would want like a day in the royal family so I could see what it's really like. Um, would you have
have good food over good clothes or vice versa. Good food. Okay, that's a question. Food, yes, food. <laughs> I would have good food, for sure. <laughs> that's an interesting question. Scrolling, scrolling. If you were free to live anywhere in the world, what would be your preferred place? Mm. Sorry about that, my memory card filled up, so I need to clear some space. This is the longest video I've recorded and it took up a little more space than I thought it would. So, we have just a few colors left and I believe I left off on, if you, no, where was it? If you were free to live anywhere in the world, what would be your preferred place? Yes, I'm pretty sure that's where I left off. I would love to live by the water. Any kind of water, river, lake, ocean. My only reservation about living near the ocean is hurricanes, um, but I would love to live on the water. As far as where, I don't really know. We have visited, we visit Cape Cod every summer, and there was one year, I was single at the time, and I almost packed my bags and moved out there. Um, but then I met Steven, and I didn't do it. <laughs> but I would love to live on the water somewhere. Okay, what was next? If you could meet anyone who ever lived on Earth, whom will you choose? I, going back to our earlier conversation, I would probably love to meet John F. Kennedy. I also have a great, great, I think she was just a great, great grandmother that was a Native American. Um, her name was Silvernail, I believe, and I'm fairly sure she was an Iroquois. That would also be a really cool conversation. Meeting her would be really cool. Next up, what would you do if you had to choose between money or health? I would choose health, hands down, um, for sure. Money is great, I love money. <laughs> How do you think I purchased these diamond paintings? You know, But if I had to make that choice, I would definitely choose health. Next question. What would you do if you had Aladdin's magic lamp? So sorry about the train, guys. Not sure if it's run through this video. I honestly don't even realize it's there half the time, but I'm sure you guys can hear it. We do live um, not too far from train tracks, and it can be a little much sometimes. But now that we've lived here for a few months, we just don't even notice them anymore. If I had a Aladdin's magic lamp, that's a really difficult question. It's like, I feel like I need to think about that one more so than over the course of this video. I would, see, I don't know. I feel like people always make like crazy, like I, if I had Aladdin's magic lamp, I would bring my grandmother back. Like, but isn't that a crazy, crazy thing? Like, I don't know. I wouldn't, it wouldn't be the money for me. It would be, like, the memories and the people. Like, I would love to see my grandmother again. She passed when I was in high school. Um, I would love for my grandfather not to be suffering with dementia. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I really, really need to think about that question, I think. Interesting, though. If you had unlimited money in your bank account, how would you use it? Hmm. I would pay off all of my debt, which I have a car, I have a student loan debt. Um, I have a credit card, obviously. Um, I would pay off probably my sister's school loans. I would set up college funds for my nieces. 
I would, yeah. And then I think I would invest the rest of it. I think I would get my family into a comfortable living situation. I mean, we're, we're all comfortable. We're all, we all have homes. We all have, you know, food. But I think I would like to pay off some, some debts for people. And then I think I would invest the rest. Um... Ooh, would you like to be immortal if you get the opportunity? I don't know. If I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's a loaded question, too. Some of these are fun. I might have to save this page and, and use it for my first whipping chat. If, if I could be immortal, would I do it? Yeah, I think so. I'd love to see where the world is in 100 years. I would really, you know, has it imploded or are we thriving? I would... I think I would. All right, that was the last card. Um, is there anything else I want to answer right now? I think that was... Yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. And I think I'll save this page for my first whip and chat because I think that could be fun. There are some really... It's getting into some fun questions uh, that I think would be interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, take a second um, and reorganize my drills and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, so here are our two trays of colors. Some really, really pretty colors here. Beautiful. And they fit in pretty well. I have bunch of empty empty ones here at this side which I'll just use one of them for trash drills. So I'm gonna put these off to the side and I do have three bags of 310 and one bag of 550. Okay so what I'm gonna do now is bring the canvas back in and I'm not going to do all of the sides, but I'm going to show you guys. Um, eh, actually, maybe I will. I'll do the side and then I'll cut out. I'll finish the canvas and then I'll come back and show you how I section um, my paintings off. So I'm going to use this really cute moon washi. I got this in a set from Michael's. I'll see if I can find it and I will... Um, link it down below. Normally, um, for the most part, I always keep off um, diamond paintings just because I have long hair, I have cats, and sometimes the edge is just too sticky for that life. I do like that Dreamer Designs, um, they continue their canvas just a little bit. They bring the image over, which I think is really nice, but I'll lay this down, my workspace is a little small, so put something on it so it holds my canvas up. Hopefully you guys can see kind of what I'm doing. So sorry about that again, I ran out of memory. But all I did was go through and I taped every edge um, or every side with the washi tape. And then I'm really quickly going to try to finish this video off because it's probably very, very long. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I lay out my cover sheets. I think I'm gonna go that way. Or am I gonna go just try to go whichever way works out the best. Okay, so I'm gonna go long ways. Um, you can't see this corner right now, but that's okay. So I'll be in the middle in a second. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this longer video. Well, not longer, very long. 
video. Um, let me know if it's something that you you like or, okay, these are very crooked, but I will fix them when I stop filming because I'm a little OCD um, with placement of things and these are a little more crooked than I would prefer. So I will work on that off camera. But I wanted to highlight a couple of things that I'll be using for this kit. So I have my purple Muni Made tray. I have this pen from Bella's, which I thought the colors were just perfect for this kit. Although I do have, like I mentioned, more pens coming from her and I think there's a pen in there that I would really like to use. So I might switch over halfway through, but I love that pen. I'm going to be using Not Your Mama's Mud by Whimsical Daisies on Etsy. This one is Coco Nutty in my single placer. And in my multi-placer, I'll be using Quake Hold Museum Putty. And I have a lot of Harry Potter minders, so I'm gonna use that to my advantage to actually use some of them. So I have, I'm a Hufflepuff, if you were wondering. I have that one. I have this little cutie. Um, those two are both, I believe, from Galloway's Gallery. This one is from Snarky Crafter. I'll leave this, the links to the shops down below. Snarky Crafters, I think. Snarky something like that. I don't remember. I solemnly swear a lot. I have a little headwig with some books. And I have, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Um, I also ordered, oh geez, some really cute um, clay minders from Nika's Designs today. Can't wait for those. She said they have more characters coming next week, so fingers crossed it's a Luna and a Neville because those are my cat's names. Anyway, I think that's it. I showed you everything I want to show you. We have our storage done. We have the canvas taped off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a very long video and I hope it was enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed the questions. If there's anything I didn't talk about that you're interested in knowing about me or my channel, those are my cover minders, <laughs> um, please let me know down below. I'll be happy to answer them. I may save them for a future whip and chat. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna let you guys go now. Hope you enjoyed this very long video. Maybe you got some kidding up done. Maybe you got some diamond painting done. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.